Hi, my name's Derek, and uh, I'm here today to talk to you about mental illness, addiction, um, anxiety, stress, um, all these things that uh, manifest inside our brains and our heads that lingers as long as we'll let it linger. Um, recent in the last year, I've been studying uh, the philosophy of uh, reality, mental awareness, our thoughts, our actions, the saying our thoughts um, and our feelings daily um, shape our lives. And I am a big witness of it reshaping my life. I uh, have dealt with a lot of loss in my life. Um, I'm sure just like um, you know many others. Um, and uh, I've dealt with uh, depression, anxiety, and um, all the underlying issues that um, kind of uh, make these things a lot worse is when we let it set up in our mind and we let we keep thinking about these negative thoughts and these negative uh, emotions kick in, thinking that we're not better than we really are sizing ourselves up to others, which is the worst thing we could possibly ever do. And uh, really being more aware of the moment, you know? Being aware of the beauty around us. And that our little problems, uh, that really are little problems when you think of them in the realm of life itself. Uh, worrying about financial well-being, Worrying about, um, you know, our future, um, what others think of us. Um, it's kind of a, it's, it's stuff that just makes us uh, more depressed and feel more like isolating. Instead of realizing that we're beautiful human beings, you know, that we all are created equal for the most part, right? And that um, not everyone's, most people are, don't care about little things that we care about, that were our insecurities about wearing uh, the uh, popular uh, trending clothes to wearing the best jewelry or having the nice cars and having lots of friends, likes on Facebook. Um, society uh, it's, it has, uh, especially in America, has a lot of us um, uh, set up for, at least the 99% of us, um, for failure if we let it happen because of being pre-programmed to thinking um, social media and all that other stuff. The others are living such wonderful lives and others are better than us and that we need to have all the money in the world to be happy. You know, it's a true fact that most the, uh, of the rich people uh, in this world uh, are actually not happy. It first starts with being happy within, being confident within, being confident enough to um, walk into a store and not worry what others are thinking about us, not worrying how we're dressed, and also not worrying about our likes on Facebook or on Instagram. Really trying to stay in the moment, in the present, and not comparing ourselves to others because it's just a recipe for failure. What we think is what we become. And I believe that's a very good manifestation um, thought to, of clarity to say, uh, once again, that I was stuck in, after my father was killed, um, and I had an uncle and a grandfather that was killed also, um, I was stuck in a depression of self-pity and uh, feeling really, you know, down on stuff. 
and I happened to come across some positive stuff on YouTube. It started with The Secret, the movie The Secret. And through that, I learned all these positive manifestations and that our everyday lives are auto-programmed. We're auto-programmed to wake up and still be in the past if we let it happen. When I wake up now, since I'm aware, I immediately make sure I'm not in the past and I meditate. I know a lot of you out there are uh, hesitant to meditation. Maybe think it's not, you know, not your type of style, but there's really easy type of meditations out there that will really help if you're interested in that. Um, I am doing this because I want to help the people out there that are struggling, people that may be even suicidal and not think that they have any hope out there in the world for them. Because there's plenty of hope. Right now, there's a big awakening in the world, especially in America, when it comes to um, free um, free stuff. People are giving out free ideas, and these ideas and these principles were well protected for a long time for the, you know, the elite, the richest. Um, Albert Einstein, uh, uh, George Washington, uh, you name it, every famous person or every person that made a mark um, in this world manifested it upstairs in their head first. They were winning before they were winning. They already had and were living a life that they programmed for themselves up in their head of being happy and already having all the uh, essential uh, confidence and tools they needed. How did they do that? They, manifest, they manifested it in their mind. And that's how they accomplished the big goals. For me, for someone like myself who could barely get out of bed for years, depressed, um, you know, I was always really been real successful in my life when I was younger. To me now, I'm starting business, you know, businesses and stuff on uh, line. But the biggest thing I'm trying to do right now, and what I want to do in my life, is help others to try to understand that it's not you; it's really the world around you, and it's about getting the tools and listening and learning to the ideas. There's, uh, it's all about staying present, trying to think, be, try to stay aware of what you're thinking. And when negative thoughts come in your mind or negative people, try to teach your brain, because it will work, to flush out the negative thoughts and even the word, word hate, if you say you hate somebody, it takes way too much energy to hate somebody. And the anger and everything that comes along with it and resentment, it kills. I know if anybody out there can understand and stuff and I'm, that I was very depressed and I always have been very secure throughout my whole life until recently, the last uh, year, until I was able to learn from watching experts on YouTube and studying and, re and reading on how to control the thoughts and feelings of my mind and get myself out of um, misery. And I w I'm willing to do whatever it takes to help any of you who are struggling with any of this stuff, even if you're struggling with uh, uh, things I didn't uh, say, addiction or anything. I know people, uh, it's a big thing right now, people are losing their lives and uh, 
Just be aware of your thoughts and let the negative thoughts pass through your brain as guests quickly. Don't let them harvest up in your brain. So you think more positive and you enjoy the nature and beauty around you, your life will become a lot more abundant and happy. I like, I like uh, doing these videos, so I'm going to keep doing them. Um, again, I feel the way you feel. I have my anxieties and my um, insecurities that I, um, I've been able to come a, a great deal length from being able to uh, get far past uh, them than I was before. I used to isolate because I was insecure and all that. So keep watching my videos. I like doing this. I hope you keep watching them. Um, they're going to keep getting better. And um, if you uh, have any questions or any concerns or if you need anything, just write to me in the link below. And if you can, uh, that would be great. Again, this is Derek signing off. Have a great day. Remember, manifest, manifest your life positively.